What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. In today's episode, we're going to have a head-to-head -head comparison between Rigel Miner and 1-0 Miner on Zealous. Now, I think everybody would assume that 1-0 Miner is performing better based on what hash rates you're seeing in the Miner screen, but that doesn't matter as much as what you're getting on the pool. So I thought we would do a head-to-head -head comparison to see if 1-0 Miner is truly living up to the numbers that they're displaying and I think you might be in for a little surprise. But before we get into the content, do me a favor, hit that like. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that button because once we hit 7,000 subs, I will be doing a face reveal. And stay tuned to the end of this video for a little teaser. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the content. Okay, so recently, Rigel Miner and 1.0 Miner have both released new versions in the last few days for Zealous Mining. And 1.0 Miner appears to be much more efficient. They've had a couple of releases since 1.3.5, claiming a little bit of efficiency improvement. And if you take a look at the hash rate that you're getting on the Miner, it does seem to be quite a bit higher than what you're getting on Rigel. However, the power is increased considerably, but Looking at the numbers in the miner screen, you're going to see a much higher efficiency rating on 1-0 miner than you do on Rigel. So I wanted to put the two in a head-to-head -head comparison to see not how we're doing on the miner screen, but how we're doing on the pool. Now in order to do that, I needed to have two identical rigs, so I decided to use a 4070 for the test. On both of these so we've got a 4070 here in hive this is the only card mining and we are using Rigel miner here and then we have a Windows PC that has a 4070 in it also this was my gaming desktop that currently has a 4070 in it and as you can see the hash rate difference here is considerable we're currently showing 24.73 kind of jumps around to 25.13 so if you use hashrate.no to get your overclocks, you're going to see a couple of differences here between Rigel Miner commands and 1.0 Miner commands. And one thing that stands out to me is it shows a memory offset of 2000 on 1.0 Miner as opposed to a memory offset of 1000 in Rigel Miner. And using these exact same overclocks, I wasn't getting the same hash rates. Now I wouldn't have expected to but the big difference here that I'm shooting for is to try and match the power consumption on both of them to be about the same. Now, hashrate.no is showing a power consumption of 107 watts, but when I use their overclocks, I am using about 99 to 100 watts in software. So I headed over to hashrate.no's Discord, and I asked specifically if they could confirm that it wasn't an oversight, and Rover replied and said that in Rigel, you need to use half just like you're doing for Windows. But again, if I use those provided overclocks with a memory offset of 1000, I'm not getting my full potential hash rate, nor am I using the same power consumption that I would be if I was mining with 1.0 miner. And I feel like that's more important for an apples to apples comparison. So in order to match those wattage numbers, what I did was I increased my clocks. And so I've removed the core offset of 300. I jumped the core clock lock up to 2550. And I set my memory at 2200. And what that did is that got me closer to our 98 to 100 watts that we were also seeing with 1.0 minor with the overclocks that are provided by hashrate.no with a core offset of 300, locked core 2400, and a memory offset of 2000. And we're also getting 99 watts here in Windows on this 4070. Now notice our hash rate shows 24.73. This will bounce around all the way up to 26, which is what hashrate.no is showing. Now something happened right off the bat with 1.0 miner that was very odd. Notice how we've got 440 kilohash showing right off the bat. But as it goes further along, you can see that the hash rate even out. Now, I've checked with Viper, specifically with this address, to see if they could find anything. And there isn't anything that really stands out to us. The only difference that I can think of is initially when I put these overclocks in Windows, I didn't realize at the time that I should have been using memory 1000 instead of memory 2000. 
but even with the wrong overclocks, there is absolutely no way to account for an 18x increase in hash rate. So we're still investigating, trying to figure it out. We've looked at some things on the pool side, and it appears as though var diff was going down and down. But once I get an answer on that, maybe we'll have a better explanation. But Essentially what happened was by putting in 2,000 instead of 1,000, the miner crashed a couple of times, and then I realized I had made an error and corrected it. So that kind of skewed the results for the first 24 hours, and we're going to have to get past that initial spike to make sure that we have a fair comparison when we're looking at our results of yield on the pool. Okay, so jumping into Viper.net, we're going to take a look at 1-0 Miner's pull stats first. And you can see that we've got this initial spike of about 440 kilohash, and then we start to even out where we should be at about 25 kilohash. But what I want to draw to your attention is in the upper right-hand corner here. Let me go ahead and refresh the page. And what we're looking at is the 24-hour hash rate as well as the 24-hour yield. So you can see here on our 24 hour yield, which currently this is at about 22 hours into the test. We're currently sitting at 0 0.027925 and some change. And then if we take a look at the 24 hour hash rate, we're currently sitting at 26.07. Now keep in mind those numbers are skewed by that large spike in hash rate. Next up, let's take a look at how we're doing over on Rigel Miner. Now you can see at the beginning of this we have some testing that was going on as I was dialing in the overclock so from about 9.20 till about 10.20 we were still trying to get that hash rate perfected to match the exact wattage in software but as you can see the hash rate appears to be a little bit lower than what we're getting on the pool as far as 1.0 minor is concerned but we look at the 24 hour hash rate, we're currently sitting at 21.64 kilohash, and our earnings are sitting at 0 0.02620. What's really funny, after only about two hours with this rig on Rigel, I actually hit a zealous block. So here you can see we're currently sitting at 22 hours and 16 minutes into the test. This one is on 1.0 minor in Windows. Efficiency currently showing about 248 hash per watt at 100 watts. And here, Rigel is showing we are exactly 24 hours and one minute into the test. So I can go ahead and end that there, and we can record these results that we're getting from Rigel Miner. And here we're coming up with about four minutes to go on the test with 1-0 Miner. But again, we had that initial spike in hash rate, so I want to get a few minutes past that so that does not skew our results any. Okay, so now that the test is complete, let's take a look at our results here. So we're gonna start out with Rigel Miner. On the pool, over the last 24 hours, we showed an average of 22.15 kilohash. In the miner, we showed an average of 22.18, and over the course of 24 hours, we yielded 0 0.028689 and some change. Compare that to 1-0 Miner, on the pool, we averaged 23 kilohash, which is definitely not the minor advertised hash rate of 25.13. In fact, it is a difference between the two of these in the minor screen of 13%, but on the pool, it's only a difference of 3.8%. Now, I did let it run a few more hours and took a few more snapshots just so that you could see the difference in performance on 24 hour yield on the pool and it would appear that we're coming in at about 6% higher on 1-0 minor as opposed to Rigel minor. However, I would like to point out that we are not getting the advertised hash rate from the minor screen. In fact, we are down which is a bit disappointing. So we're actually looking at a difference of almost 10% between what we're seeing in the minor screen and what we're seeing on the pool. Whereas you look at Rigel Miner and we're getting almost the identical numbers of what we're seeing in the Miner screen and what we're getting on the pool. So it would appear as though 1-0 Miner is fluffing the numbers a little bit, which we've seen some shenanigans like this in the past from other Miners. I personally don't like to see it, but it is what it is. I just wanted to make you guys aware of it. 
regardless of those results, it does seem to be yielding a little bit better results in comparison to Rigel Miner. However, if we really, really want to compare apples to apples, I think the proper comparison would now be to switch these GPUs and which miners that they're using. So it may be Silicon Lottery that's accounting for this 6% difference between Rigel Miner and 1.0 Miner. I don't know that for sure, so I'll continue testing a little bit further and share those results with you, perhaps in the Discord. And if you guys aren't a part of the Discord, the link is at, down in the description below. I highly recommend that. It's free. doesn't cost you anything. We share a lot of useful information there. Okay, you made it to the end of the video, so as promised, here's another teaser face reveal. Remember, once we get to 7,000 subs, which is only about 200 subs away, We'll do a full face reveal, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.